Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. So if you haven't subscribed, please subscribe, hit that notification bell to be notified when I upload videos. So today I've put together a list of 15 plus SHTF currency and barter items. So let's get to the video. So the list is in no particular order, depending on where you live and what your needs are, they may be different. The first item is water. Now we all need this no matter where you live and water purification, either tablets or bleach or something to purify that water. Also to have something to store or carry water in is a good idea. So something like these little cantinas, these collapsible cantinas or a collapsible um, jerry can or something like that to carry or store water in would be great. Um, barter item and these life straws they're kind of on the pricey side but they definitely would be a barter item if that's something that they are looking for to purify water with individual water bottles that can be easily carried in a backpack or a bag even though one gallon jugs for easy carrying would be good for barter items Next up, alcohol or booze. Um, the minis are a good barter item. Different ones, different sizes. Even something like some wines would be good for a barter item. Tea and coffee. And I know I have to have my first cup in the morning before I can fully function. Gold and silver, as well as some junk silver in different denominations and some paper money in the short term food and basically this would be food that you can eat right out of the container right out of the can or just at water or hot water and eat and i know personally for me a jar of peanut butter and a spoon and i'm good hygiene items things like deodorant and bars of soap now that can be used to wash your clothes, wash your body, wash your hair, all around item. That's a great thing to have for a barter item. A lot of uses for that. Also things like um, feminine products. Don't forget feminine products. Things like toothbrushes and toothpaste are good to have as well. Also wipes can be used for many different things body wash shampoo can also be multi-purpose item also ladies and men's shavers as well as ladies and men's shave gel tobacco and cigs now I vacuum sealed some thinking that they would prolong the freshness. We'll see. And then I got some actual loose tobacco and some rolling papers. I know nothing about this stuff, so I went with what I thought would be good variety. Meds, some over-the-counter painkillers, cold meds, and we also have some pharmaceuticals there. First aid items, gauze, band-aids, ointments, um, splints, alcohol, cotton balls, peroxide, thermometers. Batteries, you want to have a variety of all the sizes, AAA, AA, D, C, E, F, and G. Candles. Candles, candles, and more candles. Not just for light anymore. I have a trick with tea light candles to make heat. So maybe I'll make a video on that. Flashlights. Now they can be the cheapy, cheaper ones or a more expensive one or like we have in our to-go bags, these headlamp ones. They're really convenient. They leave you hands free and you can use them just about anywhere. Seats. So you can take control over your own food. I've also started a seed bank, which is just a plastic tube that I have a cover, a lid for, and I'm just 
saving seeds in a what I call a seed bank because I had trouble finding seeds last year so I'm making sure I don't have that problem salt spices and sugar I would even throw in flour here too because that can be hard to find like I found out this past year as most of you did I'm sure next up is fuel so we have a couple of different types we have butane and we use that in our indoor stove we have propane and we also have a bigger five gallon one for our barbecue we have gas and we also have diesel now we have more than enough that we could barter if we had to fire starters whether it be these convenient fire discs or the ever strike match or just your regular waterproof matches in a container or just your everyday strike match that you can find these in the dollar store because that's where I found those your average lighters or your flints and your stones clothes and socks now I only get these items actually any items when they're on a really discounted price or at my stock up price so for instance this fleece line hoodie I found at Walmart and they were two dollars a piece so of course I picked up quite a few because you can't beat that price these leggings again they were a dollar and the socks I got from Big Lots and I catch the sale probably about once every two years or so and they are 50 cents per pack so this is a three pack and that was 50 cents this is a three pack of Stanley and then a two pack of Realtree for 50 cents a pack and these are nice thick warm men's and women's socks high quality ammo you and your skills so we have some honorable mentions cleaning products we have some dishwashing liquid that can be used for several different things including bathing and washing clothes detergents hand soap um, cleaners clorox wipes some off bug repellent we also have some off spray as well as other cleaners. Fishing equipment. Tools and survival gear. Various hats inside. Free gift from Harbor Freight. Warm hands, warm packs. Now we've actually used these in our feet as well. Emergency blanket, the little disposable ones. Disposable ponchos, they're a good bartering item as well. Uh, paracord, I found this roll of paracord at Home Depot for a really discounted price. So if you can find some of that, that's good too. Contractors plastic bags, duct tape, things you probably have around the house or could get quite easily that would be a great barter item as well for somebody who's looking for it you never know who might be looking for what tarps these probably not so much unless you have a good supply of them but mass we're all looking for mass right about now as you see that price that was pre pandemic price I had this before everything blew up last year. So if you have some, maybe a barter item. These little folding stoves, if somebody's looking to cook something and they don't have, say, electricity or whatever, you never know what somebody might need as a barter item. That's why they call it a barter item. Baby items like diapers and wipes and baby wash and powder and that sort of stuff. bath tissue 
So that rounds up my list for SHTF currency prepper barter items list. So if you think something should have made the list, jot it down in the comment so we can all learn something new. So if you have any questions, put them also in the comments and I will be sure to read them and to get back to you. And I just want to thank you so much for watching and you have a great day.